In honor of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary, over the next 50 days we'll be sharing 50 videos that are 50 seconds long detailing 50 fun facts that were around on opening year of Walt Disney World. Episode 46, Sailing the Seven Seas. In order for guests to get from the Ticket and Transportation Center to the Magic Kingdom, or vice versa, via water, they have to take one of the Magic Kingdom ferry boats across the Seven Seas Lagoon. Now, the Seven Seas Lagoon was actually man-made, which is absolutely unbelievable, and it's roughly one mile in length from one side to the other. In order to be transported from one side to the other, guests, of course, have to take a Magic Kingdom ferry boat. There are currently three different ferry boats that go from one side to the other. On opening day, two of these were in operation. The Admiral Joe Fowler and the Richard F. Irvine. If you remember in a previous episode, we did talk about how originally the two ships that went around the rivers of America, now the Liberty Bell Riverboat, were actually known as the Admiral Joe Fowler and the Richard F. Irvine. On opening day of the Magic Kingdom, the two ships found at the Seven Seas Lagoon were known as the Magic Kingdom 1 and the Magic Kingdom 2. The third ship, the General Joe Potter, would arrive in 1976, but it would be known as the Kingdom Queen. All three ships received their brand new names in 1996, with their names being a nod to three different Imagineers that helped with the overall construction of the entire Walt Disney World Resort. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of 50 Years, 50 Fun Facts in 50 Seconds. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow.